Welcome back to Bazaar Morning Call. It's not bad actually for the market. We have Manisha Gupta is joining in to tell us if it's equally good in the commodity markets or not. Uh, Manisha, good morning. Morning and thank you for that, Sonia. Well, I'm looking at the metal prices and this week actually has been quite positive for across metals. But within the space as well, if there is one thing that has outperformed the sector, that clearly has to be steel. If you look at the rebar futures, we've seen constant growth come in for this one. It is trading at a multi-week highs as well. It's trading at a six-week highs right now. And for the week, we've seen prices gain up by 4%. And if you look at the last one month, we are up by nearly 6% for the rebar prices here. The demand outlook has been on the stronger side and the markets are looking at supply concerns continuing into the street there. When you look at the inventories, they have been declining uh, pan country, plan global, and especially in China as well. And then for especially China, there are worries about winter output curbs as well to ensure that there isn't enough, so much pollution. And that is the sentiment that seems to be keeping the prices on the higher side. There also have been reports from Rio Tinto and JP Morgan saying that the high infra spend from China will support the prices for the near term. But for the longer term, you need to see a sustained demand continuing from China. China and various other parts of the consuming world as well. A very interesting report really from the World Steel Association which says that this year and the next as well, we are looking at higher demand growth to continue. But within that pocket as well, India is expected to outperform in a very strong way. For 2023, the World Steel Association feels that the world demand uh, will see an increase by nearly 1.8%. But within that, India will see an increase of 8.6%. This is for this year. So we clearly are looking at the world averages uh, being outperformed by India. Next year as well, even as we are looking at further growth in the world markets, India's growth will continue to outperform in that sense as well. So 7.7% is the estimate for the steel demand growth going forward in the next year as well. Okay, thanks a lot, Manisha, for that. Let's slip.